So GoPro have finally confirmed that the camera is coming out in two days time. And so what does that mean? That means that we're going to be able to order the camera and they'll be with us within the next week. And so I think one of the most important questions that a lot of people have right now is whether they should upgrade from the Hero 9 to the Hero 10. Now we're going to quickly break this down for you. So. One of the most important factors in this upgrade is going to be the GP2 chip. So GoPros have been using the GP1 chip since the Hero 6, so that's quite a lot of generations of GoPro. And so with all the incremental improvements that you get from year to year, that has started to put a big strain on the camera. So a lot of people had complaints that with the Hero 9, they were getting a lot of lagging. So in the rear facing screen and the front facing screen, both both affected by these problems. With the GP1 chip, the GoPro 9 is really pushing it to the absolute limits. Whereas we've been told now that the GP2, we can expect twice as much performance out of it. GoPro Hero 10 is gonna be able to do 4K at 120 frames per second. So that's gonna be some buttery smooth slow motion footage for you in 4K. So the 5.3K is also an upgrade from the Hero 9, which was only 5K. Uh, that's because they're able to utilize more of the sensor now that they've got the GP2 chip and shoot also at 23 megapixels as opposed to 20 megapixel photos from the previous camera. There's also a reported night mode. Now, it's been confirmed that this isn't like a sort of special ops night vision super thing but actually something to do with the stabilization because hypersmooth doesn't really work so well at night usually but now they've made massive improvements to that so that during the night if you really want to use your GoPro camera now you can. A lot of people that have the GoPro 9 might be thinking well what's going to happen to all my accessories and stuff if I upgrade? Well you'll be happy to hear that the GoPro 10 is exactly the same size and form factor as the GoPro 9. So all of your cages, cases and mods are all going to work fine with the GoPro 10. In fact we can probably expect to see some new mods on the horizon. Also it will have the same battery, the same battery size but there should be improvements to battery life. And also, the weight is now less. It's now gonna weigh in at 153 grams. So, for those of you that are coming from a previous generation, this is definitely a great time to step up and get a new camera, because the GoPro 9 was really pushing the GP1 to the limit, and the GP2 chip will now be the answer to that. I implore you to watch the GoPro announcement video in two days time and check out the new trailer that just dropped today. I'll put a link down in the description and I'll see you on the next one.